Manage Engine 87 Service Plus is a web-based end-user password reset management program. IT administrators all over the world are paying a heavy price for implementing complex passwords to increase security. Users forget the password and get logged out of their computers, deleting IT help desk with password reset and account unlock requests. AD Cell Service Plus offers a simple solution for all these. It provides end users simple and secure way to reset password, unlock account, change password, and self-update the personal information directly in Active Directory. This demo will give you a brief walkthrough of AD Cell Service Plus and its features. First, let us begin with installation. AD Cell Service Plus comes with self-extractable exe file bundled with Tomcat and Postgres SQL Access database. It is also compatible with MySQL and MSQL databases. All you have to do is to run the exe file and watch the product getting installed, which should not take more than a minute. Now, let us check out administrator login and view. During startup, AD Cell Service Plus adds all the domains that could be discovered. If you wish to add more domain, or modify the added domains, you can do it from here. Click here to add a new domain or edit here to modify the discovered domains. Now click on the configuration tab, add new policy and select the features your domain users should use. Give a name to the policy. You can pick up whichever features you wish to make available to your domain user. The first option, Reset Password, is to help the end user to reset the forgotten password without any help of IT support. The second option, Unlock Account, is to help them unlock account without IT support. The third option, Self Update, will allow them to update the personal information in Active Directory. The last option, Change Password, is for those who remember password and wish to change for themselves. Next, select the OU to apply the policy settings. Next, click on security question and answers. This is where you define the security questions that user will have to answer in order to reset password or unlock account. To edit or add security questions, click on edit questions link. Add a new question here or modify or delete the existing questions. Alright, we are done with setting self service policy for your end user. Now we want them to enroll and make use of the service. So let us send them an email notification. Click on enrollment settings, choose to whom you want to address to, the entire domain or to whom only the policy is applied or even you can type the email addresses manually. Edit the message and click on send email. The end user can click on the link in the invitation email to access the product. Then they can log into it using the domain user credential to complete the enrollment process. All they have to do is to access the enrollment tab and answer the questions found there. That is it. Enrollment is completed now. There are also other methods to make user to enroll in AD Self Service Plus. It is through auto enrollment. Here, administrators import security question and answer for end user and complete enrollment process without their intervention. You can also remind your non-enrolled users through a logon script and prompting them to enroll whenever they log into the Now let us check out how the end user reset the forgotten password or unlock his account. If a user forgets his password and wishes to reset it, 
he has to click on reset password or unlock account button on this Windows Logon prompt. AD Cell Service Plus will be made available in a web browser. User should press reset password in the product. User will be asked the same challenge questions as in the enrollment phase. Once he provides the correct responses, he will be allowed to reset this password. There is also CAPTCHA verification to prevent any bot based attack. The password policy of the user domain will be displayed to him so that he can choose the right kind of password. And this is how AD Self Service Plus helps user to reset password. In the similar fashion, the user can unlock account using AD Self Service Plus. Now let us see how users can change the password using AD Self Service Plus. The user has to log into the Self Service Plus portal and click on Change Password tab. Here, user will be prompted to enter their old password and new password to update. The password policy of the user domain will be displayed to them so that they can choose the right kind of password. The password is successfully updated now. Well, now we shall take a look at another important feature of AD Self Service Plus, the self update. Through this feature, the end user can update their contact information in Active Directory directly. To let the end users to avail themselves of this service, first you have to set the AD attributes that they can update. And this is how you have to do it. And any attribute that you check will be made available to the end user in the Self Service Plus portal, which is present under My Info tab. This feature ensures that end user information in Active Directory is accurate and it is up to date. AD Self Service Plus offers you bonus features like password expiration notifier, employee search and password synchronizer. Now let us see the benefits of these features one after another. Password expiration notifier. It looks up the Active Directory for user accounts whose passwords are about to expire and email the account owners a notification recommending password change. Not just password expiration date, the end user can also be notified on their account status. Administrator may very well choose when and how many times to remind the domain users about their expiring passwords. This wizard helps you to configure password expiry notification for your domain users. The employee search. It offers a smart corporate directory search popularly known as employee search or people finder. Here you can configure active directory search option through which end user can look up for the peers contact information. End user can access this free directory search from the employee self service portal. Password synchronizer. In large IT environment, user will have accounts on different platforms other than Microsoft Windows. To keep the login process simple, they all have the same username and passwords. This makes it easier for the end user who have to remember only one password to gain access to all the systems. AD Cell Service Plus supports Windows Active Directory password synchronization across IBM AS400 and HP UX systems. AD Cell Service Plus is completely secure and user friendly tool to use. Now let us see how secure AD Cell Service Plus is. The password center feature in the tool ensures end user chooses stronger password while resetting and changing passwords. The question and answer strengthener make end user choose strong security answers that can survive brute forcing. Few among them are preventing users from providing the same answer to multiple questions, prevent them from using any word of a question in their answers, 
You can also make security answers case sensitive. Anti-hacking security features in the tool block user accounts failing a security question and answer or verification code when they exceed the defined count. It also sends email notification upon password reset, account unlock and change passwords. You do have an option to prevent inactive users of Active Directory from using any cell service plus. The tool supports SSL for secure data transaction over the internet. The tool helps you to generate CSR and provide guidelines to install SSL certificate. When it comes to customization, the tool is super customizable. The user login page can be redesigned. The themes can be changed and the tool can be rebranded. Now let us see the dashboard view of the tool. The dashboard view provides a quick snapshot on the most important reports of AD Cell Service Press using bar graphs and pie charts. Graphical representation of user report, enrollment report and audit report will be shown here. The detailed report of user objects is available in reports under different categories. These reports can be scheduled and be exported in PDF, Excel and HTML formats. 